Welcome everyone to a techie tip or really just kind of a little informational video. I guess it's not really a techie tip. Anyways, it's about a website. Website's called Internet Archive Wayback Machine. That's what we're going to be taking a look at here today. Otherwise, the URL, if you're looking for that, is archive.com. Now, what is archive.com? Basically, it's a website that was founded back in 1996 and it's based out of San Francisco. And the goal of it is to archive all sorts of different media, such as videos, pictures, and things like that. Also, websites, I should say, so that anybody can go back and look at those websites and look at that media as if you were actually on that date. So to show you exactly how it works, we're going to go to a website that most people watching my channel know about, Microsoft.com. Okay, so here is Microsoft.com. And as you can see, we have all the different months right here. And then up top, we have all the different years. So if we want to go back to, let's say, when Windows XP was released, 2001, and I believe it was October 25th. Fifth, so let's take a look at 26. Let's look at the day after it was released. See what's uh, the website looks like. Windows XP is here. Get Windows XP and some offers. All right, let's click that. And as you can see, we can actually browse the websites quite normally, and they do look uh, as if you were browsing it on that specific date and time, which is really really cool. I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with this thing. Uh, lately too. Sometimes you just get in that mood where you just feel like looking at websites and, and kind of going back in time and, and looking at the history and, and just reminiscing about it and, and look how far we've come. So I really kind of enjoy this kind of stuff here. Anyways, so that's essentially it right there. And if we click on Windows XP Professional, we can get more information about Windows XP Professional. Now keep in mind guys, all the websites are not going to be as functional as this and from day to day they do kind of vary in their functionality it all depends on how many snapshots or, or how many um yeah basically snapshots they've taken and how many pages have been archived so just keep that in mind they obviously can't archive the entire internet that's almost a nearly impossible task but they're doing a really good job at it so far and they're getting better and better as time goes on so Let's take a look at a different website here. Let's go to one, let's see, pcworld.com. Let's see what that one says. Okay, so that's pcworld.com today, most likely. So they says they have 15,037 captures. So let's go back to, let's go back to 2001 and let's go to October 25th. Now they only have one snapshot there, so I'm not anticipating too much, but essentially you can see we get a lot of information on Windows XP. And as you can see, it looks like a 2001 website. Very plain, very blocky. So let's click on Windows XP Super Guide and see what happens if we can actually get something here. Uh, it looks like we can actually get some information, but as you can see, pictures sometimes are not do not load properly just because this browser is so new and well the back in 2001 you'd be using Internet Explorer 6 most likely over 5 something around that realm so that's gonna be it for this video guys uh, not much to it I'll post the link to this website in the description so you can go ahead and have some fun taking a look at all different websites and the history of websites too so let me know what you think about this video go ahead like it um, subscribe for more content like this I'm going to be probably posting a little bit more in the way of small videos. Hopefully I'll be posting more in the way of small videos. But I'm also going to be keep up keeping up on my tests too. But obviously, as you know, those are time consuming. I know you guys like to see the content and um, stuff like that. So I'm going to try and keep up on that. But once again, like, subscribe, share the videos like crazy. Love you guys. Awesome. Talk to you guys soon, hopefully in the next review soon. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.